Hello and welcome to Sudokanar. It's been a while since I solved the puzzle from Sudoku Mahabharat and the reason is that the, the schedule of those contests was just out of this world. It happened so often I, I just couldn't keep up. And to be honest, there was also some kind of well, uh, real life work because I have a real life job, as many people do. But I've had the request for this position, some Sudoku that was featured in round three, I think, of Sudoku Mahabharat. And if I'm if I'm not misinformed, this was the creation of James Peter Mavericks, and it was a long time ago, so I, I have basically no memory of what I was supposed to do. So let's just recall the rules of position some Sudoku. Whenever you have a number in this outside margin, this is the sum of the first two digits. So 10 is the sum of those two digits, 9 is the sum of those two. And if you have a number in the gray area, then this is the sum of two digits somewhere on this row, and the positions of the digits eight and nine are given here on this row. So for example, if this is a, uh, say a, a three and this is a six, then it means that on the third position and the sixth position, we will have an eight and a nine, which will be in this case like this. But well, this scenario is not possible because this nine would break this screen. But that's the idea. Oh, I must recall that on this version of Contest Penpa, I can't undo what I type, so I must be extra careful. So where should we begin? Well, I, I did solve this during the contest, but I really don't remember what I did. So this 17 is definitely interesting because we must find where eight and nine go, but this one and this seven are probably more interesting even. But how do I use that? So this one says that 15 is the sum of this digit and the digit in the same position. So 15 can only be made out of 6 plus 9 and 7 plus 8. So if I try to put 8 here, then it means that 7 should be here, but this would break. So that's not 8. 7 here would put an 8 there, which seems to work. 6 here would put the 9 there. All right. And 9 here would put the 6 there, so that would seem to work as well. So anyway, only 8 is removed from this set at this point. Now, what about the rest? So, Perhaps there is something about adding all of those numbers. So the sum of all, all uh, 12 digits here, yes, that's 12, is 57. And we know that on two rows, the total sum of the digits is 90. So the sum of all six digits here is 23 which means that the sum of all five digits here is 16, but that doesn't seem to be very useful, to be honest. And the same is happening here. So the sum of all of those here must be 23. And that really doesn't seem to be useful. So what did I find when I did this? Or perhaps there's something happening here. So this is 9, this is 9, this is 10. So that's 28 plus 9. 28 plus 9 is definitely 37. So the sum of those two digits must be 8. So that's probably the place to start. So I'm tempted to just put an 8 here to remind me that the sum of those two digits is 8. And perhaps I could do something similar here. Oh, yes, I can. So this is 10, 19, 29, 38. So the sum here is 7. 
interesting. So, what about this digit? And this seven doesn't use the one, and the eight doesn't use the seven. So, what are the options? We could have, well, uh, let's just ponder. Could it be two, five, three, seven? In this case, that would be four, six, and that would be one, eight. With three and five, we would have eight and nine here. It, it will totally seem to work with a one here. So two and five looks like a valid option. And actually, for this 12, 5 here, we put the 7 there. Well, that, that's a, a seemingly valid option. But is there anything else? If I try to put the 5 and the 2, well, this 2 is not suited for this 12, because I would need to put a 10 in here. So 5 and 2 is not an option. What about 3 and 4? Three and four, no, because I, for this eight, I would need a repeated four. But what about four and three? Oh, in this case, I would need a five here and a five there, and that wouldn't work. So my first try with two and five is the only valid option for this area. For this nine, I must put a seven here, so that's a three. And now I can remove those. And so now four, six are here. And 1 and 8 are here. And this 3 and 5 say that 17 is the sum of this and this. So that's 8, that's 1, and that's 9. And perhaps... Well, perhaps I should just mention the fact that this has been used, those have been used to their full potential. And this 12 will have been used as well as soon as I put the 7 there. So where is the next place to look now? Well, this 7 here removes the 7 there. So we'll either have 6 here with a 9 there, or 9 here with a 6 there. What now? This row still needs 4 digits, which are 1, 2, 4, and 6. That's not a 4. 2 here would put a 7 there, but 7 is not available. So that this now is either 3 or 8. This 9 is interesting regarding the 15. We know that this is not 2, so this 9 won't be taken into account in this 15. So this 15 will be 7 plus 8, and one of them is here. And the other 7 8 has its position in here, so it could still be in the third position, in fourth, in sixth, well, there are lots of options. What about this 9? We know that it won't use the 4, it won't use the 7, so we are left with 1 here, 8 there. And three here, six there. Those are the only two options. Something interesting about digit one is that because of those, digit one must be here or here. If one is here, then that's a nine. If one is here, then that's an eight. What about this 9? The same happens. It can't use a 1, it can't use a 7. So not the same happens, actually. It can't use the 1, it can't use the 7. So one option is 3 plus 6. And because of that, that's a 3 here and a 6 there. So this would be 1 and 8 in this case. All right. And the, the other is with 5 plus 4. So 5 here, and 4 there. All right. And that's interesting, because 6 here would put a 4 there. 
So the option 6 plus 3 would put the 4 there, and the option 5 plus 4 would put the 4 there and the 6 here. So this is actually done. It doesn't seem to have a lot of impact on the rest of the clues. Oh, what about this? This, oh, this has the same constraint as this, I think. It can't be... Not quite, no, because there, there was the 4 here, but the 2 can't go here because of this 7. So the options here are 3, 5, and 8. I don't remember struggling that much when I did the contest, but... I'm afraid I'm saying this a little too often. Now, on this column, this can only be 4, 9, or 8. So, 4, 8, or 9. And correspondingly, this must be from 2, 6, and 1. Hmm. And here, this must be from 3, 4, 8, and 9. 9 is not an option because it would put a 1 there. So 9 in the column can only be here. And that's a 6. That comes with a 3. And we get the 4 and the 5. And that's a 9 now, which... So the 9 is in first position. And in ninth position, I must have the 6 which removes the 6 in here and the 3 there. So now those are fulfilled. And this one is fulfilled too. And because here we need an 8 and a 2 there, this will be fulfilled as well. Oops. So that's a 2, that's an 8. And I also get the 2 in here, which is interesting because now this 15 uses the second digit and the seventh digit now must be an 8. And this 15 clue is fulfilled. And now we are off and running. Here I need 4, 5 and 8. That's not 4, that's not 8. No, actually this is not correct. What did I do in here? This... Oh! I messed up big time. I can't use undo. So this had actually to be an 8, and this had to be a 2, and this now has to be an 8. So the digits summing to 15 are in 7th and 8th position. So there are 6 and 9 in here. And this is now 7, which is in ninth position. And this is the position of 8 in the column. So here this is 2, 4, 5. Not a 4 here. And this is, that's a 7. And those are 3 and 6. So now let's move on to those clues, I guess. So what do we have in 7th position? One of two digits summing to 13. And this is not 7 nor 6. So the decomposition of 13 won't be 6 plus 7. And this is not a 4 nor a 5. So it has to be an 8 or a 9. And the second digit in the sum will have to be a 4 or a 5 whose position is given here. The 3 in, on this row can only be there. The 4 on this row can only be there. And those are 2 and 5. 9 can only be here by Sudoku. And because of this, and because of this 9 actually, this can't ever be a 1. So we are left here with 4, 6 or 8. Here, actually, this 7 goes there, this 6 here goes here, and that's an 8. 
and 8 is a member of this 15 sum and it's in fourth position so that's a 4 those are not 4s and to sum to 10 they must be 8 and 2 so that's a 3 and that's a 6 now for this sum of 10 actually this 8 now makes this 5 that's a 4 that's a 1 that's a 9 and that's a 6 so a lot has been happening with this 6, I get this 9 and this 6, and this 8. So the digits in those two positions sum to 13, so this has to be a 5. That's a 2, that's a 5. And now a lot has happened. Actually, all, all the position sum, all the position sums clues are now fulfilled, so the rest is just to the this 4 on this row goes there, that's an 8. Here I need 1, 2, and 7, so that's 2, 1, and 7. This is a 5, this is a 2. So here I need 2, 3, and 8, so that's 2, that 2, I said that's 3, that's 8. Here I need 1, 7, and 5, so that's 5, that's 1, that's 7. This is 2 and 3. This is 1 and 9. Here I need a 2 and a 4. So that's 3 and that's 2. Here I need 5 and 3. So that's now 6 and a 3. On this row, 1, 9 and 6. So this is 9, this is 6, this is 1, 9. On this row I need 8 and 4, so that's 4 and that's 8, and that's the 1, and that's the 5, and that seems to be correct. So there's no uh, firework on here for, for the mere reason that this is the app that goes when you're solving during the contest. So there, there's nothing that tells you, yes, this is the correct answer, or or just uh, nothing because you won't have the correct answer. There's just nothing happening. But I'm quite confident that this is the correct solution. So this was not a picnic. There was definitely something a little difficult in the beginning, but it was a fair puzzle. I didn't have to do crazy bifurcations or something like that. That was a really a neat puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. See you soon on Sudo Canard.